Hey Cancers, welcome to the channel. This video is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm glad that you guys clicked on the video. I hope it resonates for you. If it doesn't, please leave the rest. Um, please leave it for another Cancer, okay? This video is going to be divided into sections. The first section being general energy then we're going to talk about the person on your mind specifically and then we're going to get into the singles energy as well the reason i'm doing this is because not everybody comes to the reading for love not everybody comes to a reading for a specific person on their mind some people just come for general energy and guidance so i'm hoping by doing these different sections that i can you know resonate with more people and all of that will be time stamped down below okay cancer let's get into your energy we're going to start off with the general energy surrounding you in the month of august cancer what can you tell me your cancer sun moon rising and venus in general So there could be new love energy surrounding you. This could be somebody that's in your hometown. All right. <laughs> someone could be taking a picture of you kissing someone. Or you could be getting a picture of you kissing somebody. This could be somebody you meet in your hometown. You could be trying to see the silver lining in the situation with a new energy which makes me feel like some of you guys are still thinking about a past energy, but we'll tap in. Um, that's a really weird message. We have butterflies. Oh yeah, some of you guys are here to make friends. And then we have self-elimination. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, we have fantasy suites. I feel like you guys are connecting with a new person. And I know it's general, but what you want me to do? These love cards coming out. Or this is something you're thinking about. You know, you're a, you're a water sign, right? So you have a tendency to be romantic. You could be thinking about a new love what that looks like for you wanting to meet somebody in your hometown specifically maybe you guys have been connecting with people that are long distance and you're tired of that you know maybe this person that you're connecting with or want to connect with is in your hometown this person gives you butterflies and you could be in an energy of thinking about kissing them or you're going to be receiving a kiss i feel like whatever situation you guys are thinking about you had to leave that self-elimination you left that situation behind and you're trying to find the silver lining in that the camera guy thing is funny though i'm not sure what that energy is somebody could be taking a picture of you and this new lover together and you like sneak in a kiss or something in the middle of that i don't know i feel like there's something really romantic surrounding you right now cancer tell me more um, you're in the energy of also wanting to be around new energy, new people, making friends, making new acquaintances. So we have beauty here in our child. And then we have soulmate. Oh, yeah. You guys are connecting with somebody. I'm sorry. Your home is really significant right now, too, for you. Um, I'm hearing some of you guys might be moving back to your hometowns. You could be wanting to move back to your hometown if you were away. A lot of you have a very beautiful energy. And this energy, though, you see how the serpent is in the corner? 
this energy, I feel like it attracts good and bad. You know, when you're beautiful, you attract good energy and bad energy. And you have maybe struggled a lot of your life with um, people just wanting to kind of come in and take from you or deceptive energies. And that's been something that you've struggled with a lot. But a lot of you are focusing on inner child healing right now and calling in a soulmate. Okay. Um, why does this person look dead though? Like that kind of that's kind of creepy. Like they look see how they look like ghostly and shit. I don't know if this is because you're fantasizing about this and so this person's not actually here yet, but you've been fantasizing. I do feel like that. For some of you guys, this energy that I'm channeling for your general is not something that's really happened yet. It's something you fantasize about. Some of you guys could fantasize about meeting somebody that lives close to you, like in your hometown, so there's not a lot of traveling. Someone that, like, you know, you get butterflies with, and it's very fairy tale like. So, some of you guys have been doing a lot of fantasizing <laughs> about a lover, okay? But you're very beautiful, and you're very, um, I feel like you you have options. It's not like you're somebody that's fantasizing about something something that's not going to come true or couldn't come true for you. Um, it most certainly can and will if you keep manifesting it. And also there's inner child healing going on. The number 17, 16, or 14 could mean something to you. All right. Tell me more for cancer. So we have manifest. I can't make it up. You guys have been manifesting a lover. Okay, we have community here. You're trying to be more active and more social, I want to say. And we have enchantment. Something really magical is happening around you. That manifesting you're doing is quite powerful. Bottom of the deck, we have inner child again. Or well, Why did I say inner child? This is inner circle. But inner child healing is really important to you right now. We have strength. So something about your community and something about the people, the company you keep and the people around you are going to make you feel stronger, feel more part of something. Um, I feel like if you've been hiding yourself away, that's not been doing you any good. So you're going to make it more of a point to be around community, be around people, um, be out and about, be seen um, getting, developing new friendships and new connections. If you've been kind of being like the little crab in your shell, some of you guys are going to be breaking out of your shell a lot this month. Okay. Um, and meeting new people and, you know, maybe you're tired of just fantasizing about a lover coming in and you really want to make that happen. And in order to make that happen, you have to talk to people. You have to be out and about, you have to be um, more social and put yourself out there more. So I feel like a lot of you guys is manifesting of a love situation, a new lover, a soulmate energy. That's going to be happening for you because you've been manifesting it a lot. I mean, to the point where I didn't know if it was real <laughs> or if it was like, you know, a manifestation or a daydream. So some of you guys are manifesting this so much. <laughs> that I can't even tell if this is real or if it's something that you are manifesting, okay? So that's good. That's what I have for your general energy, really wanting love in your life and wanting it from somebody that lives closer to you. So some of you have been dealing with long distance connections and you're tired of that, okay? Let's get into, sorry about the creaky chair. Um, <laughs> let's get into the messages for the person in your mind now. Now, this energy, keep in mind, could be past energy, obviously. This is somebody you've dealt with before. So this is totally separate from what I just talked about with the general portion, okay? Cancer. Person on Cancer's mind. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. My life began when I met you. You've helped me unlock so many hidden mysteries of, of my life. I can't picture not living the rest of my life with you. We have the lovers. Wow. Okay. I talk to you in my mind all the time. You're what keeps me going. You've never left my heart. Soulmates. So we have lovers and soulmates. Damn. 
you have a lot of lovey-dovey energy surrounding you, whether it's past or present, future. We have June Gemini here you could be dealing with. There's no getting over the type of love we have. I will truly always be in love with you. Past life lovers. Oh my goodness, Cancer. Who is this? The lovers, soulmates, and past life lovers. Damn. Someone is very romantic when they think of you, Cancer. It could be another water sign because that's what I've always said. I feel like Cancers, you guys do best with other water signs. Um, just because of that romantic aspect that you have. You don't want a relationship that isn't like a fairy tale. Um, and it usually takes another water sign to be able to understand that. All right, so we have Love Calls by Cam. Love Calls, your name. That's a very romantic, chill song, all right? So look up the lyrics to that one. There's nowhere to hide when love is calling your name. You fall apart. Yeah. So when love calls your name, <laughs> there's no running from it. I feel like this is how this person feels. There's no running from the love that they feel for you, Cancer. There's no, they can't hide from it. They can't run from it and they can't deny it, okay? They always love you, even if you guys ain't talking. So we have Same Mistake by um, Destin Conrad and Alex Isley. Um, that's a really good song, honey. Look up that, those lyrics too. I'm trying to think of how, how it goes. I can't remember. But I feel like it has something to do with like A person being in love with you, but feeling like you guys always run into the same problems, the same issues every time you guys link up. Okay. But don't quote me. I can't remember. I listen to that song all the time and then I'd be forgetting the words. But look up the lyrics to it. My life isn't simple. I'm stuck in a karmic cycle with a karmic energy who makes my life difficult. I wish I could get along. I wish I could get away and be with you, my true love. So for some of y'all, this person is caught up with a karmic energy, which is why they can't really come towards you, but they have a lot of love for you. A lot of love. We have, you're a cold motherfucker with that sword. I know now that I can get away with what I can get away with and what I can't. Playing with you, I played myself. Queen of swords, king of swords energy. Hmm. I ghosted you because I don't know how to regulate my emotions. I don't want to be accountable. You could have confronted somebody about feeling like they were with a karmic energy, a third party energy. You could have said, you know what? You got to choose what you want to do. You can't have me and have them too kind of vibe. And they ghosted you. They ran away. They could have been testing you, seeing what they could get away with and what they couldn't. And you know what? That's what tends to happen in this past life lover cycle is you are supposed to be learning lessons from the past life. And a lot of times you're not. You don't. It takes several lifetimes to like learn a lesson. And I guess this person found out. We have the moon here, which is your energy, the dark night of the soul, shadow side, reflection, projection. We have transformation in the reverse. This is exactly what I said. You reflected back to this person a lot of their issues. They couldn't handle it. Okay. They couldn't handle their emotions. They didn't want to be accountable. They didn't want to look in the mirror. They didn't want to see who they are okay they didn't want to check out that shadow and do the transformation needed you're not looking for anybody to half-ass love you cancer yeah this person used control tactics to try to get what they wanted out of you but that ain't working that ain't working with you cancer you outsmarted you outsmarted this energy what is their energy this person Wow. 
definitely a past life lover or soulmate energy but the issue with this person and and a divine counterpart for sure with the king of swords and the queen of swords coming out back to back but it's reversed this person's arrogant they're bitter they're mean with their words they you know they think you're a cold motherfucker with that sword you they are they throw around their tongue is sharp i want to say um they throw around a lot of words and the shit that they say crushed you cancer you're very sensitive and uh cancers tend to take on can take something and take something until no longer they just they just can't okay and you might have took this person's abuse for a while, but you got, you got tired of it, okay? Um, and it's kind of like when you give them a dose of their own medicine, they call you the cold one, but, you know, they're not paying attention to everything they were doing. It's given that. And they would make promises to you and couldn't keep those promises. Why is the page of pencils here? Reversed. Uh-huh. Really spontaneous, fun energy, sexual. But they would they would give a lot of false promises, is what I'm getting. Why is the King of Swords reverse? I'm going to change. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And all it was was a bunch of manipulation. And whenever you call them out on their manipulation, honey, it'd be World War III. You could never tell this person about themselves without it going into a huge fight. They have a lack of accountability, which already came out with the judgment reverse. They don't want to look at themselves. I said this. Hard-headed person. Emperor reverse to toxic masculine, toxic feminine, take it where it resonates, but they're just a toxic energy. They want control. They want to be in control of everything. They don't want to look at themselves. This is somebody who, like I said, like they will cry at the very thing that you, if, if you are mean to them, they would, you wouldn't hear the end of it, but they're mean to you all the time. Like, <laughs> that's the energy I feel like this person is I don't know it's not that they're narcissistic I don't really feel that but I feel like they literally they play the victim a lot they don't see the role and and what they do they don't see how harsh they are and whenever you call them out about their behavior get ready to be sliced and diced with that damn sword um don't work like that you know they treated you unfairly and the issue the real problem is that they love you very much they do they love you they feel like you are their true love the love of their life past life lover just all those really lovey-dovey cards that came out and yet they act like that though i think that's why you you've had such an issue with letting them go because i feel like you know how much they love you cancer but the way they act you, you just couldn't keep putting up with that how do you feel about them how do you feel about them cancer you like to keep up with them you like to watch them and see what they're doing but you're in a hermit mode energy you're not approaching them you're not coming towards them because you you fear another fight you fear another tower moment you fear everything falling apart again you're really standing up for yourself you don't feel like you did a whole lot wrong in the situation so you're defensive with the ace of cups being reversed you feel like this person is not emotionally available like they're not ready to be vulnerable they're not ready to be accountable they're not ready to show their emotions to you and so you just watch and wait, but you are in a protective energy when it comes to this person at this time. You could be kind of like, you would, you might think about approaching them at times and what you would do. And you might start thinking about 
wait you know you might try to move towards them but then you stop yourself because you're worried about well you know it always goes downhill yeah that's what i'm feeling that's what i'm seeing also for those of you guys that they're dealing with a third party it's just like you can't really do a whole lot with that if they don't okay so you you feel stuck in a way when it comes to this person but it's a shame because there's a lot of love here that you guys feel for each other is what i'm seeing all right that's the person on your mind let's get into your single energy cancer single energy for cancer what can you tell me Single energy for cancer. So we have the judgment reversed as the overall crowning energy. Why is that here? Okay. You guys, a lot of you are struggling mentally right now. And... There's a lack of wanting to see why, okay? And this is what's causing your blockages and your delays, okay? Why is this two of pentacles reversed? A lot of you are struggling because of that past, you know, that person I just got done talking about. Feeling like they chose somebody else over you or feeling like they just couldn't get it together. You're still dealing with a loss. You're still dealing with thinking about a loss of a person. That was a major, that's a major connection. That's not just somebody you were, you know, a soulmate connection you can get over with. You can get over a little bit easier than like a past life lover, okay? Um, because that's a deep connection that that connection has happened over and over and over again. Um, there's something that you're having a really hard time accepting or walking away from right now in your single energy. This is keeping you single because some of you don't want another person. You're doing the healing, though, with the Ten of Swords coming out reverse, so that's a good thing. But the Star card coming out, it's either, I'm going to clarify that, it's either that you still have hope and faith that this person will come back and realize that, you know, you guys are meant to be and that the only one for them is you, or it's you still having hope that someone else in your life will, you know, come in and choose you. I'm going to clarify. Um, you're having a hard time listening to your intuition and knowing what you need to do. Going back and forth between wanting, do I need a new love? Do I need to focus on my self-love? Do I need to wait around for a past person to come back to me? And that's what's delaying you from being in a new relationship if that's what you want if that's not what you want then you obviously know why you're not in a new relationship because you don't want to be in a new relationship um there's a lot of sorting out of your in your mental space you guys have a lot of you're thinking a lot about this person and about your life in general um but you feel blocked in a way like you don't know what move to make you don't know if you should move on or if you should stay and listen to your intuition but some about your intuition is blocked you could be listening too much to other people too you could be watching too many tarot readings is what i want to say and the tarot is confusing you you could be feeling like oh well this tarot reader said to wait oh this tarot reader said um i need to focus on myself or this tarot reader you know like you you could be watching tarot too much and it's confusing you, confusing your situation. You could be listening to other people too much and you need to focus on how you feel. Why is this star here? Upright if this is about the past person, reversed if it's about being hopeful for a new person. 
upright. Some of you guys are focusing on a fire sign. Your past fire sign. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. And you still have hope that that will pick back up. And that this person will choose you. And realize that, you know, the only one for them is you. I do feel that. I feel that. Hmm. You're healing from that betrayal of feeling like they don't know that immediately. Huh. Why is this four of swords reverse? What aren't they what aren't they seeing? What spirit wants you to pay attention to that you're not maybe reflecting on is that you could possibly keep going backwards and keep allowing yourself to fall back into the same cycle because of your not wanting to be alone energy. Nine of Cups is a single energy. And it's very much happy single and happy focusing on yourself and your accomplishments. I'm also getting sometimes, maybe in a relationship, you find yourself struggling between wanting to be single and wanting to be in a relationship. And when you get in a relationship, you could have a hard time balancing your your work life, your personal life with your relationship life. And that always gets you in um, uh, toxic cycles, um, toxic energy. Especially if you're dealing with people that are really possessive or jealous or they want all of your time. You could have a, an issue with balancing your single life and your relationship life. Also, for those of you guys that are single, that's especially true where you could find yourself at a standstill a lot because you like being single. <laughs> you like not answering to other people and... That could be very conflicting for some of you. And it could be why you are kind of been in this cycle for a while of being single. Because you really love being single. Which there's nothing wrong with loving being single. And loving just basking in your accomplishments. But there is an unhappiness there. Where like you long to be in a connection. So I feel like overall cancer. Like you have to decide what it is that you want. And commit to that energy. You know, I really do feel that um, there's too much going on in your energy. If I'm being honest, like some of you want to be single. Some of you want a past person to come back. Some of you are juggling back and forth between if you want to, if you want this person back or if it would just be a repeat. Um, some of you are thinking about being with, you know, a new energy. It's just a lot. I don't know. Okay, so if this resonated, be sure to like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.